Hello there, my name is Josiah Gilliam and I am the Special Initiatives Coordinator in the Mayor's Office and we've been working to highlight community partners that are involved with Summer Learn and Earn this year, you know, workforce development, uh, summer work program, uh, that's a big partnership between the city and the county and all of the organizations and businesses uh, that, that make it work. And today we have a special opportunity to check in uh, with a community partner on how it's going uh, and to talk with some young people that have been doing interesting projects uh, in the Learn and Earn program this year. So I want to start with a round of introductions and then we'll talk about some of the work sites and projects so you guys can hear uh, the cool things that are happening in our, in our city and in our region. Uh, Ms. Pam, I'd like to start with you if you wouldn't mind introducing yourself and your role. Um, and we'll go from there. Well, hi, my name is Pamela Schoen. I'm the Chief Operations Officer at the Bloomfield Garfield Corporation. Thank you, Ms. Pam. And the two young men we have with us, uh, if you wouldn't mind introducing yourselves uh, and what grade you're in. Yes, my name is Mr. Crowley. I just graduated as a senior at Obama Academy and I'll be attending Carnegie Mellon University. Thank you, Nasir. My name is Jordan Moon. Um, I go to Obama. I'm going to the ninth grade and I'm a part of the Green Zone organization. Terrific. Thank you all so much uh, for taking the time. Uh, so, Ms. Pam, I want to start with you just as a, as a general overview. Um, how many youth are you all working with uh, this summer and, and, and kind of at a high level, how's it been going so far this year? Then we'll get into some of the projects. Okay, so total, uh, currently we have 101 youth on our provider contract, uh, including uh, 33 work sites and we are servicing 28 kids from the county, so not just city kids. This program expands to all of Allegheny County, so we try to take on as many kids who live outside of the city as possible. The program is going as Learn and Earn, you know, usually goes. It's always really busy and really fast, so it's just trying to keep up, manage work site expectations, make sure that all the youth are doing well, and there are, you know, no issues, no and, any glitches. Sometimes kids want to change work sites once they get into it and see really what it's all about. So just accommodating and making sure that everybody just really has a good summer. Of course, over 100 youth. That's that's extraordinary. Uh, let's talk about some of the work sites and the cool projects. I understand you guys have a cool thing going with the Kelly Strayhorn Theater. What's happening there? So we do have some youth um, assigned to Kelly Strayhorn Theater where they're working on production and programming and some of the planning. So right now they are actually working on the upcoming um, Dance Africa 2022, which I think is a pretty interesting and fun way to spend the summer. Yeah, Kelly Strayhorn Theater is just a wonderful community partner. It's great that they have a chance uh, to get involved there. That's very cool. Uh, Jordan, I'd like to turn to you. You mentioned that you're working with the Green Zone organization. What is the Green Zone organization? What kind of things do they do? So, like I said before, we find vacant lots and we design on what we want to do before we actually plan on doing it. But when we do, we like try to see what our community needs and what we want to have in the community. So, like right now, we're working on a press farm. We need more plants in the, in the Garfield, you know, in Garfield. So. We decided we were going to put tomatoes and then plants and vegetables for the community because there's like really no supermarket in Garfield. The only one that we got is all these like and you got to travel to go down there. So I think that it would be a good fit for a reason right for this year. That's terrific. So this organization is kind of focused on land use uh, and conservatorship. Um, I understand you guys have been using like a video game or a simulation as part of the project. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So the game that we've been using to do this is called City Skylines. It's a game from where you build a city from the ground up. You make a city and you can make green zones to improve the environment. And mm -hmm. once you do that, the people's men mental health will go up because they're seeing that they're Green Zone and their city is coming together in the streets and all that other stuff. And, um, but if you mess up, like put the wrong power lines in the wrong area or put the wrong streets in this wrong area or like put the wrong pipes, water, like water and all the other stuff in the wrong area will cause pollution. It'll cause people who want to leave and it'll cause vacant lots and it'll cause other bad, bad stuff happen to the city. 
in the game. That's really cool. So it's like it's a city simulator, and as you make choices about design and development, it affects people, and you can see how you know it affects people's mental health or where they choose to live or other kind of community dynamics. Is that right? Yeah, right. That's cool. And is it is it easy to use? Is it fun? Is it fun to play? Is it interesting? It's more of like a it's like the Sims game, but more educational. Um, hmm. But other than that, it's pretty it's a pretty cool game. I like it personally. I don't know about my coworkers downstairs, but I like the game personally. Well, we like that you like it. Awesome. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Now, Sierra, I want to turn to you. Uh, you're working with KF Robotics. Tell us a little bit about that company, what they do, and some of the partnerships they have. So, um, KF stands for Kurt, Eric, and Spazer, the three founders of the company. Um, and KF Robotics, they specialize in joint autonomy, which hmm. is obviously joints flying by yourself and operating by yourself with their own intelligence. Um, as a company whole, they work with some big names like NASA, 10X, the military, the Air Force, um, companies of those sizes, in like million dollar deals. They do some big things with them. Um, it can be, their joint autonomy can be used in defense and it can still be used in like research. Um, me personally, at KEF, I work on camera optimization. That is basically spatial recognition um code and hmm. the software part of it so um learning how to project and unproject things from a 3d to 2d plane um that's usually what i'm doing um in this software um eric usually helps me um get my code up and i'm um, working it teaches me a lot of problem solving um things because like the littlest thing to mess up your whole thing. So it teaches you attention to detail and like being really strong, staying able. Yeah, I mean, you gotta be pretty detail oriented uh, cause even a small error in code can, can throw everything out of whack. Uh, so you're helping the drones be able to recognize things in different spaces and different environments? Yeah, it basically can take a camera, simply using a camera, a drone can know where it's at, and it can also know how far something is. So it can basically identify things. You can also use this to identify things and go away from it, go towards it. That's not really what I'm doing, but that's the. That's cool. A pretty, a pretty uh, big company uh, with some big partnerships. You said NASA, the Air Force. Uh, pretty cool for you to be involved with that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, it teaches me a lot. Um, also, alongside the things I learned from. The actual coding. Um, I've been in some meetings, so you can learn a little bit of the corporate side um, with Fraser and how they work their deals and everything. That's great. Uh, would you guys recommend, you know, learn and earn to your friends, your peers uh, going into um, the next summer, do you think? Yeah, so I actually got into learn and earn by my other friend who worked at the Green Zone last year, and he told me it's pretty cool, and I actually gave it a try, and I really like it. So I think I will like um, spread it out to other people who actually need jobs and all that other stuff. So I think you should, people should too. No, me, yes, I think you should do Learn and Earn as well because along with it paying you um, money for doing your job, it also teaches you life lessons, um, lessons that you can use in your next level, college, high school, whatever it is. That's terrific. Well, I want to thank you both uh, so much, and also you, Miss Pam, for taking the time, you know, to highlight it. Uh, a great partnership of, with the city and the county, but then so many organizations and companies uh, that are making this thing work, and then ultimately the young people that are, you know, spending time investing in themselves, uh, getting paid along the way, and doing cool projects. It's just a really great story. So, uh, thank you all so much, and we'll check back in after the program's over to hear how everything went. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.